In this paper, you mentioned the need to address the proximal or metaphyseal bone loss. Why is this so, so significant today? In, in, in the modern era where many more joint replacements are being done and unfortunately over time more are failing, the, one of the commoner features that we see at the time of revision is loss of bone in the proximal femur. And in an ideal world, what we want to do is achieve fixation without losing any more proximal bone and where possible, by using what proximal bone is left for fixation where we can. And here we have an opportunity to avoid some of the complications that we've seen with distal fixation. Because if you get very good distal fixation and have no proximal bony contact, you risk a flagpole effect and you risk stem fractures. And we've seen those increasingly in the last decade. Uh, and we now have characterized the problems with size 14 or lower stems, extended osteotomies, heavy patients as high risk factors uh, with proximal femoral bone loss for stem fracture. So the idea here is to avoid that by getting equally good distal fixation, but having a system that's modular that therefore allows you to reconstitute the proximal femur sufficiently so that you have good proximal contact, very little proximal motion, if any, and ultimately we hope in some of the cases, if not in all, uh, integration proximally so that you get some bonding and then removing the flagpole effect and hence removing that risk of fracture. So really the, the idea is to prevent uh, fractures, prevent serious complications, and we think with taper fixation and this kind of technology, we won't see the stress shielding and thigh pain that we see with purely distally fixed porous coated stems.